Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to look at how you can use the GSX integration with the Phoenix A320. The Phoenix A320 just received a major update, which they also call the Block 2 update, which adds a lot of functionality, including tada, the GSX integration. Before you can use it, however, you need to make sure that you disable certain options. And to do that, you need to go to the GSX options and I will show that in this video. And then we will jump inside the aircraft and we'll have a look at which integration options are available. So to access the GSX, right, you can go to the toolbar. In some cases, you need to click it uh, a few times and then it will pop up. Uh, keep in mind that the A320, I'm not sure if it's a bug, but it starts with the engines on, which uh, let's say prevents you from starting the GSX menu. So make sure that you disable or shut down the engines before you do that. Then you can go to the additional services. And if you go to the additional services, you will find an option which is called the GSX settings. If you click that option, it will open a new window. And that new window is, I would say, nice. And it contains a lot of options. But you need to make sure that you disable certain options because else it might not work 100% correctly with the GSX integration. It's also nicely described on their website, right? So uh, keep that in mind. And one of the options which they uh, do recommend you to switch off is the always review progressively. That's the option which you need to switch off uh, because else it might not work correctly. To see all the options a little bit easier, right? You can go to their website. Uh, they have got the GSX integration website and this is where they clearly state which options you need to disable, right? So in this case, the always review progressively was already switched off. The op other options which we need to switch off is the detect custom aircraft system refueling, which is already switched off. And the last one is the assistant service auto mode, which is also switched off. These are the default settings, right? So don't worry because it will, I'd say, unless you played around with these settings, you probably don't need to make these modifications, but it's just better safe than sorry in this case. Once you've switched or once you modify the options, right? And maybe restart it, uh, the add-on, you can go inside the aircraft and as you can see, we're focusing on the throttle because that's what I just shut off or shut down. And then I can go to the fly pad or the electronic flyback. And as you can see, right, it's bumped up to a newer version and it contains a lot of new cool things, including that GS GSX integration. And to access that, you need to go to the Phoenix. And inside the Phoenix menu, you will find multiple options, including the ground services, where you can manually switch on different options, right? You can, for example, say, hey, I want to uh, have the GPU car, right? The power unit. I want to have the, the chokes and cones. I want to have the forward stairs, the after stairs. You can do something with the uh, forward cargo doors and the after car cargo doors, the bulk cargo doors, and several other things, including connecting the dock. But this is, of course, not what we're searching for, right? Because we want to have that nice integration with GSX. Well, let's have a look where we can find that. Well, I will uh, try to find it. And that's hidden in the SIM settings. Inside the SIM settings, you will now have the GSX option. And the GSX option will uh, allow you to switch on certain options to make sure that the GSX integration works correctly. So first of all, you've got the surface sequence, right? So it starts with fuel plus catering and then boarding. You can adjust that by, I would say, pressing the arrows, right? Then you can see that it switches to boarding and then fuel and catering. But of course, we want to first refuel and cater before we, and uh, I would say, board the passengers. Then we've got another option, which is set auto catering while refueling. In that case, if you switch on this option, as you can imagine, if the aircraft is being refueled or if the uh, oh, yeah if the aircraft is being refueled, it will automatically cater the aircraft, which means that they bring food and drinks, etc. Then we've got the option wait for refuel before boarding. Right, in some circumstances you might want not want to have to have the passengers on board while you're refueling. Let's say I think in in the normal airliner world it's allowed, but then you can't ask the passengers to let's say um, buckle up. Right. They still need to be, I would say, it needs, still needs to be able that they stand up very quickly and leave the aircraft. Uh, so that's, I would say, uh, something which you could enable, but you also might consider, uh, consider to disable it. 
Then the other option is auto select brand handling agent. This one is uh, enabled. I'm not sure how that automatically works. It could be that GSX would say uh, that you will not get the pop up from GSX, which allows you to uh, select the ground handling service. That's what I expect, but not 100% sure about that. Then the auto pushback is switched on, as well as the auto disconnect GPU on pushback. If you want to make it more realistic, of course, you might want to disable this option because then it is up to you as the pilot of the aircraft to disconnect the GPU or tell the uh, GSX to disconnect it. Uh, because if you leave it connected, well, then things will go wrong, as you can imagine. Last option or last two options. One is, of them is the auto connect GPU on rifle, right? It will automatically connect you to the power uh, on rifle as well as the auto D board. These are the default options which are set uh, when you uh, install the aircraft from scratch. And of course, you can customize them easily by clicking the button and you can see it goes from uh, green to gray, which means disabled. And if you leave it on, it will automatically enable the options, right? So that's pretty cool. You can see that the GSX is now being fully configured, right? So uh, let's see how that, uh, that works. Uh, so we're going to say, okay, hey, let's go to the GSX menu, right? We're going to say uh, save default, config saved in case you made changes. And uh, don't forget to do that. Uh, and then you can open the, the GSX menu and I would say simply start to ask things, right? So let's do that. So GSX is here. Sorry for the HC continuously talking, right? Should have disabled it. Maybe I should do that, right? So let me, let's say, go to that quickly and then go to the other options. No, I'm not going to go here. So what I will do in this case is I will shut it down. Uh, I will simply uh, decrease the volume. But it's likely the wrong button, which I did. What's the VFF? That's irritating, right? How can you shut it down? Well, let's leave it for now, right? So not this option. I was expecting it to be done, but hey, let's leave it like that. So in this case, you can see that the GSX uh, loading menu, please wait. Uh, so hopefully it will start loading quickly. Uh, because else I'd say I need to restart it, maybe. Or does it have to do with me having the GSX options open? So let me hit close and then let's try again. That was me. So, and then you can see you've got the multiple options, right? You can say prepare for pushback. You can say operate the jets just like you normally would do. So I can now I say a okay, request uh, the catering, which in this case uh, I would say allows me to select the uh, handling operator, which is I would say kind of weird because I was expecting it to automatically select uh, the uh, operator, and it looks like now uh, the aircraft has uh, kicked in because it automatically selected the one uh, which I wanted to select. Right, so now I've got the catering truck uh, coming to me, and then I can also ask a okay, hey, request the refueling. And as you can see, it will likely work. Uh, then to show you the integration that it doesn't work uh, to board the passengers, let's switch on this option. Let's hit save the default and then open the menu again and then say, okay, hey, uh, request a boarding. And then it says boarding requested, as you saw in the uh, top left corner of the screen. And then let's see if that really works, right? So let's go outside the aircraft. And then it might be a little bit hard because I pressed the wrong button. And then let's see if we can sneak through the uh, windows over here. But it looks like it doesn't hump and look a work, right? Because it says, okay, hey, it's gonna board the passengers, which is not what we wanted. Need to decrease the speed as you can see. So let's see. Okay, turning around a bit. Decreasing the speed again. Even more because it oh, now it goes too slow. Here we are. 
but we don't see the passengers, right? So it also says, okay, hey, he's now waiting, right? So there is integration, but some of the things are not integrated because in this case, it said, okay, hey, it's waiting. And that will start simply with, say, uh, bringing the catering, right? So here you can see the guy, the guy who's bringing the drinks and the food for the passengers. Oh, wrong buttons again, sorry for that. And while we're talking, right, you could see already some passengers walking inside the aircraft. That likely has to do that the aircraft is already, I would say, uh, fueled. Uh, so that's not a real big issue. But uh, I would say I would have expected to work a little bit different. But as you can see, there's no uh, fuel truck connected. So that's likely the cause of, I would say, the passengers simply uh, starting to board. However, kind of weird because we're still performing the catering of the truck or of the aircraft. Uh, now we've done that, right? Uh, you can see that. Although this option has been selected, it doesn't 100% integrate yet, as it looks like, which is kind of weird. The auto pushback is selected. The auto pushback disconnected GPU is also selected. So once we're ready, right, I could say, okay, hey, let's start uh, because everything is ready and let's start to, let's say, perform the taxiing. But I don't want to keep you watching this video forever and ever. So believe me, that works. Uh, I would say works pretty okay. Uh, so if you have the A320 from Phoenix and if you've got GSX, you can now use that integration, which makes life a lot easier. Here ends this video where we looked at how to use the uh, GSX integration with the Phoenix A320, which has just received a major update. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.